Woo, hey everyone, this is Adira from Daily Crypto Chaser. You want to come to you live, live from Asia, guys. Good morning from Vietnam. Howdy, howdy, howdy. The Ric Flair Crypto coming to you live. And we're going to be talking about a huge freaking secret reveal. Uh, could we be seeing a $10 Dogecoin? So we're going to be talking about that. And I'm not saying that. I, it's not like the OG is saying that's going to be $10. This is what the news is saying. This is what the analysts are saying. And we're seeing a huge, huge bearish, uh, the bullish Bull, Rick, oh, oh, you got your ring. A huge a bullish pattern for for uh, crypto. Huge bullish pattern for uh, Dogecoin. And this has happened not once, not twice, but this will be the third time this uh, pattern uh, plays out for Dogecoin. So let's hopefully that the history repeats, not rhymes, and we're gonna see Dogecoin through the freaking freaking moon uh, out there, guys. So. Let's jump into the content without any further delay. Yay, yay. Don't forget to go back and watch all my other videos, guys. It's an amazing time to be alive. Uh, so far, we're seeing that uh, Q1 uh, for Bitcoin still so up 22%. Uh, a lot of that is being fueled by uh, Bitcoin ETF uh, excitement. Uh, we're seeing that a lot of the retail investors, uh, you know, Joe Nasdaq, Joe Public, they're kind of like, they're kind of a step back and they're waiting for something to happen. We're seeing that uh, Ethereum is pumping up 30% uh, for Q1. So not too shabby. Overall, we're seeing the crypto, the cryptos, the cryptos are up right now. Thank goodness for that. Uh, we're seeing that Dogecoin has uh, been up for two days, so that's pretty good. Uh, so overall, overall, things are looking pretty good. We did have Uniswap that like pumped like 70% uh, yesterday. Uh, but uh, that's coming down. We're going to talk uh, talk about uh, Uniswap as well, guys. So uh, why is Bitcoin price stuck near uh, 52000 Well, uh, side-based move was, was another sign that Bitcoin was getting accumulated. So, guys, I believe that there's going to be a huge breakout just around the corner. We're seeing a lot of accumulation, and a lot of that accumulation is coming from the Bitcoin ETF uh, out there. Uh, so, guys, just keep in mind that there's, you know, there's more Bitcoin uh, being bought than being mined. So this is going to result in a supply shard and definitely uh, Bitcoin is going up and up, up. So, guys, peaks and valleys are very normal as we head closer and closer to the beautiful halving and the beautiful all-time highs, guys. So, guys, I wouldn't worry about it. I would not worry about it. This is just accumulation. We're going to see a huge freaking pump uh, for, uh, you know, uh, Bitcoin. And we're seeing that, you know, we're seeing more and more uh, entities right now who are holding uh, Bitcoin are in profit, guys. So that is pretty, pretty good out there, guys. So you're seeing that more entities are in profit right now. So that is pretty good. Uh, we're seeing the number of entities uh, with balance uh, less than uh, uh, 1K is also going up as well. So that's pretty positive. We're seeing the percent of minor revenues from fees. Also, that's pretty good as well. So we're seeing a lot of bullish, bullish signs for Bitcoin. So I'm not too, I'm not too shabby out there. Uh, it looks like after the rise of Muni token price, Uniswap team sells. So we're seeing that a lot of the devs uh, uh, and developers of Uniswap have sold. So it appears that the exciting Uniswap rally has been coming to an end with some wallets liquidating their assets. So since December last year, Uni has demonstrated strong performance and price rally will continue into the new year. So we're seeing that the tokens have been up like crazy out there. So uh unit has risen more than 76 percent in a week right now and that is because of this uh, new protocol that they announced so that is good news for you guys but uh, watch out guys watch out bitcoin eyes 300 000 amid institutional adoption as i said the major adopters right now for uh, bitcoin are institutions so could we see some corrections ahead ah, maybe uh, we're going to see some peace and valleys. that's very normal we're seeing uh top um, i know it's, uh michael vanderpoop men poop uh, says that Bitcoin uh, could be ranging from three to six thousand, spurred by uh, institutional uh, interest. Remember, uh, all the TA that we've seen in the past with Bitcoin uh, has not included in institutional buy-in. So, you know, when we see a lot of TA comparing uh, previous cycles for Bitcoin right now, we're seeing that uh, they're using old data that did not include the Bitcoin ETFs in the U.S. So, uh, that is why a lot of analysts are thinking that uh, this all-time high could be much, much larger out there. So institutional cycle is going to bring Bitcoin's mass adoption and likely a uh, value of 360000 So I think that's one one key note is that we're going to see mass adoption for a Bitcoin. So that is that are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good, guys. So, yeah. Also, Matt Kaiser thinks that, uh, you know, Bitcoin could hit 500000 So my guess is as good as yours, but definitely, definitely one thing you can be assured not financial advice, guys. Don't forget to go smash the likes. Don't forget to subscribe, BYB, YB. And don't forget to show some love, lovey, love, love for the OG, guys. It looks like that. Love to everybody out there. One thing you can be rest assured 
is that Bitcoin is going to be higher than the last all-time high. That is a fact, okay? Yeah, but like I said, because we're having more institutions aping in like never before, definitely it's going to be much, much higher, guys. So we're seeing that right now uh, Bitcoin is up again in terms of greed, fear and greed index. We're still greedy. Uh, last week we were at 72. Uh, remember, last month we were at neutral, so we've come a long, long way out there, guys. So let's take a look at what's going on uh, with the crypto right now. With Kriptos, Kriptos, overall, we're up 1.84%, uh, not too shabby. We're seeing uh, Bitcoin is up as well, about 51,000 out there. And it's above the 51,400 level, which is a key resistance level. Uh, Ethereum is up as well, still below 3,000. Uh, 3,000 is acting as huge resistance. For Ethereum, we need to break the freak past that. Uh, Solana is just kind of range about it's up 4.33% uh, uh, out there. Uh, uh, XRP is up, Cardano is up, uh, Avalanche is up, uh, Doge is back in the 11th, 10th spot. Thank goodness for that. Uh, kick in trots, but anything from Justin Sun, stay away from that. I hate that moron out there, guys. Chainlink is pumping, uh, Polkadot is uh, doing well. Uh, it looks like Matic is having having resistance at the one dollar. That's a psychological level. We're definitely going to get back up there, guys. Don't worry about that. So, I think we're going to see the beginnings of a huge Doge come breakout. We had these uh, descending triangles. Uh, we hit the bottom of these triangles, and we have a pump, and then we go down and pump again, guys. So overall, we're going to see this pattern repeating. Right now, Doge is looking pretty good out there. Yesterday, uh, we hit a high of 0867. Right now, Doge, Doge has come down. It was at uh, 0867 uh, when uh, about an hour ago. It's come down a little bit. It's given up a little bit of a gas out there, about 1.38%. So don't forget, this is a Binance chart. There are different exchanges have different prices out there. So that's what that's all about. We're seeing that 67% uh, of the, all the Dogecoin holders are in the money. So we're going to talk about how Doge is going to get the $10, guys. So keep on keeping on. Uh, we're seeing that, yeah, 0.8585 is uh, the price right now. And we're in the top 10 spot. So I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So as you guys know, let me move my pillar amount of face out of the way. Dogecoin's challenge reclaim price milestone. So let's talk about the short-term time frame for Dogecoin. So currently, Doge is battling to cross the nine cents, and you can see that here. That Doge has been battling, 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 and got rejected twice with the Ferrari uh, news. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Doge kind of shown technical signs that it could suggest a five percent surge if successfully breaches the price point. Indicators like relative strength are looking pretty good, uh, signaling upwards and onwards. So what this article is kind of saying is that, you know, if we can breach 5%, uh, if we can uh, breach the nine, 9 cent error, we should go up 5% from that. And that would take us to about 0947. So we just definitely need to get above 9 cents. That's our big resistance right now, big freaking resistance. Uh, now let's talk about this. This article has been floating around the interwebs, and it's really talking about why, here's why Dogecoin price can hit uh, $10. Remember, this is a long-term view of Dogecoin, not the short-term view, okay? So just keep that in mind, okay? And they're saying that Dogecoin potentially re or could lift the price to $0.13 cents if this bearish dominance drops. Another analyst predicts that the descending triangle could send Doge uh, towards $10, and that's about 28,000%, okay? We've seen that again, we, and the super trend flashed a buy signal at 083, suggesting a major relief in short term. So... As you guys know, uh, Dogecoin has formed this asymmetrical triangle on the daily chart right here, guys. So you guys can see that. There we go. And we had one previously, okay? So that's happened. It's happening. But the bears and bulls are battling it out, are freaking battling out. Indicators from the relative strength index signal a drop in bullish dominance. Should the RSI drop below 50 here, should drop below 50, uh, then what's going to happen is uh, Dogecoin is going to go down. Okay, and might decrease to eight. Remember, eight is good support. However, bulls would likely try to drive the price out. For instance, if the bears tug back the price, Dogecoin could uh, slip to 0823, uh, where the 0236 Fibonacci retracement was located. Okay, so this Fibonacci retracement here. So on the other hand, the bullish the bullish thesis could invalidate invalidate if the price turns down below the 080. So if that happens, we're invalidated. We're going down to seven. But I believe that Dogecoin still could hit 10 bucks. And that's a 28,707%. And we can see that we've had these two triangles, right? We have these two triangles here. We have a consolidation period, triangle here, consolidation period. And if we take this, this fractal overlay here, that is calling for a $10 Dogecoin. So I think it's going to happen. It's not going to happen in a short period of time. Here's another chart, breakout. 
consolidation. So we had this breakout, we had this downward trend, and we had 576 uh, uh, days of consolidation. Now we're only 483 days in this consolidation. So that means, that means that we have about another three months before we have a huge rally. Uh, so the previous rally was preceded by uh, a range formation that lasted 570 days, okay? Or a year and seven months. The rally that followed measured 18,000% here, okay? Bang. From the range highs. At that time of writing, Doge has moved within the range for 883 days. This is almost a year and four months. That means we have at least three months more. Three freaking months more. And now it's February, March, April, May. And that coincides quite closely to the halving. So I have a feeling that within 30 to 60 days after halving, we're going to finish this consolidation for Dogecoin. And we're going to see an unprecedented 28,000% breakout. And that could take Doge to freaking 10 bucks, guys. So keep in mind, keep in mind that this isn't going to happen to probably May, April uh, at the earliest. But this is looking pretty, pretty, pretty nice. We've seen this consolidation within range, and now we're only three months out, guys. So buckle the freak up, strap on. I can smell the rocket fuel, guys. So we're still waiting for California and New York transmitter licenses. Uh, that's probably going to come in August. That will confirm Dogecoin payment. So it looks also pretty good news. It looks like uh, uh, Tether has just minted a whole bunch of a do, uh, USTD. That's about one billion. So they don't. They typically don't mint uh, unless there is demand. So that's pretty good. We're seeing that Bitcoin is just kind of range bound, consolidating between uh, 52, uh, 52, 4 and a low here of around about uh, fifty thousand three hundred fifty one. Uh, we're not seeing a lot of volatility. We're not seeing big, huge swings. We're not seeing violent swings. We're seeing pretty small swings. We are respecting my upward trend line. So I think. Once we get to this point of confluence around here, this should be around about around about the 5th, 6th of March. I think we will have, I believe, a 70 cent break out to the upside. That's what I'm thinking. Ethereum is looking positive, but once again, it's butting its head against the psychological resistance of 3,000. I think we're going to giddy on that, guys. I don't know, having is 52 days away. Nice and lovely jubbly. Uh, also, it looks like Jack Dorsey is now up over $200 million on his Bitcoin and Treasury investment. Looking good more and more evidence that you need to hodl and you need to buy a bitcoin out there not the finance right so you guys can see that the ETS are net flow friday was 4.4.5 thousand uh, uh bitcoin so that's looking pretty good blackrock accumulate um basically uh 3.2 uh one one k from fidelity so this is interesting guys and keep in mind that the amount of bitcoin being consumed by the bitcoin spot ETS almost 8x of what's being mined right now. So there's definitely going to be a supply shock coming, guys. Definitely, definitely. Uh, here we go. Once again, as Bitcoin consolidates within the 51,000, 52,500 range, its accumulation levels have remained impressively high. So people are still accumulating and not slowing down. And most of it is institutional investors. And that is why I believe that Bitcoin is going to go insane in the membrane. 300,000? Yeah. Dogecoin soon to blast off to $1.00. Short term, but definitely by in within three to four months, we definitely could see the holy grail. This 10 bucks if we get this whole breakout, guys. If we get this freaking breakout, if we get this freaking breakout, and I'm not making this up, this is what the technicals are saying, guys. But what do you guys think? I appreciate it, guys and gals. And don't forget, if you got your crypto on a hardware, if you got your crypto on exchange, get it off to get a hardware wallet. It's your own private exchange in your pocket, guys. Go get check out the link, smash the guys. So that's kind of all I got. Let's go check out what's going on uh with my yeah finally finally bull run guys post that yeah uh what's going on with my uh twitter let's see check out the profile yeah we're over eleven thousand followers i appreciate that let's get this up to twenty thousand followers i appreciate guys so that's kind of all i got be well be blessed i'll see you in freaking next time peace out <laughs>